Hi babes, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a bootylicious leg routine. Trust me, by the end of this workout, your ass is going to feel like it fell off and you're not going to be able to walk for the next two days, but you're also going to be very thankful that you got those booty gains. So I'm starting off with a little stretch. I like to open up my hips and then I move on to activating my muscles, most preferably glutes, and I'm doing these leg curls uh, with pulses so I know this is a bit of an unfortunate position to be in in a public gym and if you really don't want to do it this way then you could always do kickbacks or donkey kicks that works fine too but what I like about this move most of all is that it also targets your lower back so I do about 15 reps on a good day I'll maybe do 25 but I'm trying to speed things along so this workout can also be good when you have a busy schedule because it's pretty quick. So we'll do 15 regular curls and then we'll go right into these pulses. This makes your booty go on fire, which is exactly what you want when you're about to go into your the body of the workout. So next activation move, I like to do body weight hip thrusts. This is amazing for, a, again, beautiful Glute activation, beautiful glute activation. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But <laughs> you get the idea. Um, I like to do these off the bench. Of course, you could do uh, glute bridges. They're pretty much the same thing. Just really make sure that you're squeezing at the top. And I do 15 reps here. So for my activation sets, I do about three. And it can range in reps like from 15 to 25 as you'll see in the next move when you see what happens next eventually i'm already dying <laughs> so next i do adductions with a hip circle um you can get a hip circle on amazon they're pretty affordable i think um, i'll show you a brand that i get in a couple of minutes and with this i do 25 reps because it's pretty low impact and I really want to feel my glutes, my lower back, and my hips because those are the areas that I want to build on. Like, who doesn't? So on to the main part of the workout. This is such a game changer for me. It's such an obvious move, like lunges, hello, like was I born yesterday? Obviously, because I have not integrated lunges into my workout routine until very recently, and honestly, it kills. Like, the main source of what you will be sore from in this workout is probably the lunges, because these just kill, but in the best way possible. So I like to do three reps. Uh, maybe, I mean, not three reps. Oh my god, I'm losing it. Three sets, <laughs> and um, for each set, I do about 10, and then I will go up in weight, and usually that, if I go up in weight, I'll go down in reps, because it's, it's really heavy. So these parts of the workouts, I like to do supersets and I'm just choosing to do squat jumps. I change the supersets every single time. This is just what I'm doing for this workout and it just challenges my body even more and also incorporates some cardio into the workout routine. So your heart is pumping, you know, you already got the fat burn going and this just accelerates everything. So after that, I will go with barbell squats, same type of setup where I'll do three sets and I will go up in weight each time and I usually would descend my repetitions. So I would start with 10 reps and then I will go down as I go up in weight. I know he did you wrong, I can do you better. You try to act like you don't do dirt. So with that, I like to superset this with good mornings again, like I did in my little activation routine. I want to target my lower back, and this is a very good move for targeting just that. 
while also activating your glutes and your hamstrings. So something that's really good about also recording these workout videos is that I can see if I have proper form. So I apologize if I look like I'm curling my spine a little too much. I know I shouldn't be, but you know, it's a, it's a good tip. Thank you. Thank you for showing me. <laughs> so same deal, uh, three sets. It's gonna be the same with every move that I show you in this video. It's gonna be three sets and about 10 to 15 reps per set. So second to last move, I do some sumo deadlifts. I think these are so great for your lower back, your glutes and your hamstrings. It's just a triple threat if that's a thing, and I think that this really targets your glutes more than a regular deadlift. Of course, you could do regular deadlifts if you'd like, but the sumo deadlift is just, I think it's more glute dominant. If you're more quad or hamstring dominant when you're doing these moves, a sumo deadlift, it's like no option. You need to use your glutes to bring the weight up. <laughs> So the superset I chose with this are crab walks. This is the hip circle that I use. It's from the brand Ethereal. I just got this off Amazon. I don't think there's any hip, hip circle that's better than the other. It's just something that is supposed to really challenge more of a body weight dominant move. If that makes any sense. I don't know if I'm making any sense anymore. I apologize. <laughs> And then the last move I have for you guys is leg press into calf raises. So you're already here doing leg, wait, ugh. you're already here doing leg presses and it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> But same deal, three sets, 10 to 15 reps, depending on the weight that you can go with. You're really trying to challenge your body and you know, you're trying to do more with more weight, but you're also trying to make sure that you have good form. So I think that's actually more important than adding on more weight and adding more and more on weight. So um, yeah, I would just make sure that your form is good. This is something that I noticed while watching this video that I need to work on that a lot more, especially as I go up and wait. So that is the end of this workout. Definitely need to cool down, make sure that you're not too sore in the morning. And a little tip that I have, if you wanna work on your flexibility, Make sure when you are trying to go for a deeper stretch to exhale as you stretch deeper. So inhale and then exhale and extend your stretch. Then I just like to come down, do a little yoga moves. I'm, a, I'm no yogi, so like be gentle if you're a yoga person. That's all my mama. I know he did you wrong, I can do you better. So that is the end of my routine guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and comment below if you are going to try this out. Make sure you subscribe and also visit me on Instagram and I'll see you next time. Love you babes. Peace out.